Hello everyone. In this uh, video, I'll be explaining or demonstrating the sum that you can see right now. Uh, the numbers are plus, first number is 23, and now we'll be subtracting a larger number from it. So, the, uh, how do we subtract a larger number from a smaller number? So, you will have to use the borrowing method. So, I'll explain the borrowing method while doing this kind of sum. <clears throat> the first number is 23. So I'll start with 23 on the abacus. Now to subtract 47 from this, I need to subtract 4 on the tens place. I don't have enough beads here. I don't have anything on the larger uh, rods as well. So I'll have to borrow. So on this rod, if I'm falling falling short of beads, what I need, I'll borrow. Where will I borrow? I'll borrow on the next left rod. Okay. So on the hundreds place, I'll borrow one bead. So I'll borrow one on the hundreds place. Now I need to uh, remember that I have borrowed one on the hundreds place. So I'll mark it on my borrowed set. So this is the borrowed set here. The units place, tens place, hundreds place and thousands place of the borrowed set. So since I've borrowed one on the hundreds place, I'll borrow, mark one on the hundreds place here that I've borrowed. <coughs> Now I'll subtract 47 in regular fashion. So while subtracting 47 here on the tens place, I'll use its big friend formula, which is plus six minus 10. For subtracting seven on the units place, I'll have to use the combination formula. That is plus three minus 10 will have to, uh, will be done in this fashion. Plus three will be done using its small friend formula. That is plus five minus two. So after this plus three, a minus 10 on the next left rod and the subtraction of seven is complete. So subtraction of 47 is done. The next number is addition of 16, 1, 6. So addition of 1 on the tens place directly. Addition of 6 on the units place will have to be done using the combination formula. So here what we do is we <coughs> use the formula minus 4 plus 10 in this fashion. The minus 4 will be done using its small friend formula that is plus 1 minus 5. So after this minus 4, a plus 10 on the next left rod and the addition of 6 is complete. And uh, now the last number. Last number is subtraction of 35. For subtraction of 35, we need to subtract 3 on the tens place, which is direct, and 5 on the units place, which can be done using its big friend formula, which is plus 5 minus 10. And this is not our final answer. We can see that we have 57 on the abacus, but this is not the final answer. The final answer will be after considering this borrowed set. Now we have a, a, a bead borrowed on the hundreds place here. Okay, so what we we don't have anything on the hundreds place here to return the borrowed bead. Okay, since we cannot return it, now we'll, our answer is going to be a negative answer. Now, how negative? Let's check out. So this 57 that we have here remaining on the apicus in the in our main answer part will have to be subtracted from this borrowed set. So 57 will be subtracted from this hundred. So 50 and 7 will be subtracted like plus 3 and minus 10. So now the answer that we have here is 43 and this is our negative answer. So negative 43 or minus 43 will be our final answer. Okay.